Around 66 million years ago, the world as we knew it changed forever. The age of the dinosaurs came to a violent end in the wake of a colossal meteor strike, a global catastrophe that wiped out countless species in an instant. But the story didn't end with the dinosaurs' disappearance. What happened in the eerie, silent aftermath? What was Earth like as life itself fought to rebuild? Today we're stepping back in time to a planet forever scarred by disaster, where survival was a battle in ways we can scarcely imagine. In this strange, alien Earth, many ancient creatures were gone in a heartbeat, but not all life vanished. Some survivors, through luck or resilience, clung to existence, forced to navigate a transformed world. So join us as we uncover the secrets of this ancient, wounded Earth and witness the first steps of our planet's long, arduous recovery. At the end of the Mesozoic era, Earth faced an unimaginable force of destruction. A massive asteroid, possibly the size of Washington, D.C., came hurtling toward our planet, marking one of the most catastrophic events in Earth's history. This celestial body, measuring between 7 and 50 miles across, hit with such force that when one edge slammed into Earth, the other end was still soaring above the height of a Boeing 747's cruising altitude. This was no ordinary collision. It was the start of a nightmare. The impact left behind a colossal crater spanning half the Gulf of Mexico, stretching 93 miles across and plunging nearly 12 miles deep. The sheer violence of this impact caused the world to transform instantly. Tsunamis of monstrous proportions erupted from the oceans, some reaching 330 feet high, tall enough to engulf modern-day cities along the Gulf Coast. Some waves may have even soared to 985 feet, the height of three Eiffel Towers stacked end-to-end, -to -end, while others might have reached staggering heights close to a mile. For hours, waves crashed relentlessly against coastlines, reshaping the landscape beyond recognition. But the oceanic fury was just the beginning. If the asteroid had hit slightly differently, the destruction could have been far worse. The explosion itself unleashed a force 100 million times more powerful than Tsar Bomba, the largest thermonuclear bomb ever detonated. Within seconds, forests spanning thousands of miles disintegrated. This explosion, equal to the detonation of 100 trillion tons of TNT, unleashed earthquakes reaching magnitude 10 or higher and triggered landslides extending as far as Argentina. The ensuing chain reaction sent waves of destruction racing across the planet. For anyone caught in this path, survival would have been unthinkable. Earth was forever changed, a place ravaged by forces beyond human understanding or survival. But this impact was just the beginning. The energy released when that asteroid crashed into Earth ignited an inferno, instantly setting the landscape ablaze within a nearly thousand mile radius. The blaze consumed everything in its path, taking down even colossal dinosaurs like the Diplodocus. And those creatures lucky enough to escape the flames were swept away by retreating waves. The impact blasted rock and debris high into the atmosphere, and remnants of this catastrophic event have since been discovered in layers of the Earth all over the globe. Within minutes, the particles flung into the sky began their descent, glowing like molten glass. As billions of these scorching fragments rained down, they transformed the atmosphere into an oven, releasing an energy equivalent to 20 million megatons of TNT, all of it converted into searing heat. The intense heat rapidly warmed the planet, turning Earth's surface into a blazing furnace. For most dinosaurs and other land animals, there was no escape. After surviving tsunamis, fires, and earthquakes, they soon succumbed to unbearable heat. The lush, forested planet was set ablaze in moments, wiping out almost 75% of life. Acid rain poisoned the oceans, wiping out half of all plant species, and any mammal over 55 pounds stood no chance of survival. As fires rage, soot mixed with dust from the impact, shrouding Earth in darkness. For about a year, sunlight barely reached the surface, plunging the planet into a prolonged blackout. The climate changed drastically and any plants that managed to survive the fires eventually withered away without sunlight. The few remaining large herbivores perished, as did the carnivores that depended on them. The ecosystems in rivers and oceans suffered heavily, though some aquatic creatures like turtles and ancient crocodile ancestors managed to hang on. Scientists described the Earth during this time as barren, like the surface of the moon. 
Survival seemed unthinkable in a world left so desolate. But even in these bleak conditions, life found a way. While the dominant animals perished, smaller species, resilient and resourceful, began to reclaim the land, sparking a slow rebirth that would ultimately shape the world as we know it. Now, the first signs of life to bounce back after the catastrophic asteroid impact were not what you'd expect. Tiny single-celled organisms called foraminifera began repopulating the crater within just a few years. After them, ferns sprang up, thriving in the barren landscape. Within a thousand years, these resilient plants spread over most of the surviving land. Yet for larger animals, the world was still uninhabitable. Food was scarce, and only small mammals, each weighing no more than a pound, could survive in this harsh new world. For these small survivors, the landscape was bleak. Only a few flowering plants dotted the land, with limited seeds for sustenance. But in time, things started to shift. After around 100,000 years, some mammals grew to the size of a raccoon, and palm forests began to take over from the ferns. Food sources expanded, and a sense of normalcy slowly returned to Earth's recovering ecosystems. Then came what scientists call the Palm Period, followed by an era they've nicknamed the Pecan Pie Period. In truth, there were no actual pies, but trees producing nut-like seeds spread across the land, introducing a much richer food supply. This new abundance of nutrients allowed mammal species to flourish and diversify, growing up to the size of large beavers or small gazelles, around 55 pounds. Incredibly, the number of species tripled. As time went on, plants and animals evolved together. Roughly 700,000 years after the impact, legumes, including primitive beans, began appearing, bringing even more protein into the mix. These beans were like nature's first protein bars, fueling further growth among mammals. With this added boost, ancient mammals grew larger and more varied, reaching sizes of up to 110 pounds, about the size of a modern-day cheetah. The creatures now roaming this restored earth were 100 times heavier than the tiny ancestors that once hid among the ferns. In under a million years, the earth had transformed. What seemed like an endless stretch of devastation was actually the beginning of a new era. Life rebounded faster than expected, revealing how even the greatest catastrophes could give rise to remarkable rebirth. For evolution, this span of time was just a blink, but for life on Earth, it was a true testament to resilience. However, the recovery of Earth's oceans after the asteroid impact was painstakingly slow, taking nearly three million years to fully restore the flow of organic material. During that time, new species emerged to fill the empty ecological niches. Surprisingly, birds, which paleontologists now recognize as the only surviving lineage of dinosaurs, managed to adapt and survive, while their non-avian relatives disappeared forever. Some reptiles and small lizards also endured, likely aided by their ability to find refuge in water or swamps. Birds' unique survival strategies, like nesting on the ground and seeking shelter, played a crucial role in helping their ancestors endure the chaos around them. Gradually, as Earth healed, life began to flourish once again. Evolution continued its course, eventually leading to the rise of humankind. Without that ancient asteroid collision, human evolution might never have been triggered. But what if such a catastrophe struck again? The outcome would be devastating. Much of humanity might not survive a cosmic impact on that scale. Yet Earth, resilient as ever, would find a way to recover, and life would continue its remarkable journey. Though these events occurred tens of millions of years ago, scientists have uncovered astonishing details through fossils, rock samples, and the bones of ancient mammals and reptiles. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding the final days of the dinosaurs and the origins of life as we know it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss more intriguing insights into our planet's past and the mysteries waiting ahead.